Welcome to Grund Podcast. I will skip all the other stuff I usually say and just congratulate you with our second season finale. Isn't that awesome? And wow, uh, do you ever have moments when you always... Uh, you always been kind of on the confidence side and you're just getting overwhelmed. Uh, that was like that when I spoke with our today's guest, uh, the maestro, Denver sound legend, Jay Munley. Uh, I just, I just felt like a blabbering idiot. Uh, I mumbled a lot, and uh, he was so gracious and kept listening and talked to me. Ah, uh, so yeah, I have warned you. Uh, it wouldn't be easy to uh, listen to me. And what a voice, what a voice he has. And, uh, and also my narrative, now, I, now I'm reading, my narrative driven mystery and sci-fi fusion, the game called Grund, as you probably know, is available as well. Uh, links somewhere in the notes, uh, you are very welcome to check it out and if you like it, please leave a positive review, even the smallest and shortest one. And uh, yeah, oh, what do I hear? Is it a Discord call? We actually are, we, uh, me and myself, uh, we are in our second uh, season and uh, first season ended up with a bang uh, that was uh, Fenris from uh, it's his uh, black metal legend uh, from uh, the band called Dark Throne and you are the second season's big finisher <laughs> so to speak oh well uh, and I'm okay. truly honored uh, honored uh, to speak with you so oh that's very flattering yeah you're probably here it all the time but nevertheless so uh yeah that's all it's always terrible to hear it so never say that again please uh are you bad with compliments no that was a joke uh, well because i am <laughs> when someone well, tell me that oh that's a good job to, ah stop it stop it <laughs> it, it it is awkward but it, it but it is flattering as well it um, is of course <laughs> but no i'm sorry i was trying to put you at ease by making a bad joke oh the bad jokes are all we they are the best the bad jokes are the best uh, oh wonderful <laughs> bad jokes and dad jokes um well since this podcast is a bit uh has a has a gaming roots uh i I would like to ask you the first question, gaming related. Uh, uh, have you ever picked up any game, any games? Uh, have you played them, or you just say generally, "fuck that, fuck that shit," and let's do something useful? Um. Well, for, first, I probably don't use that. I would never use that word. Ah. But that's just me. Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. I don't mean that out of play. If I could use it properly, I would. Mm -hmm. um, just when I attempt to use it, I, it sounds very forced. So, But you're welcome to wield it around and maybe I can learn <laughs> a thing or two from that. Um, as far as playing games, no, I don't, I don't particularly play games. Um, I suppose I did when I when I was younger, but um, the games were never to the level that they're at now, which mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple people in the band who are certainly gaming people, but um, I, I spend my time working on writing, honestly. That's, a, mm -hmm. that's about all I do. Um, so the story, you know, the story side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, no, I do not particularly play games. Fair enough. Uh, that However, that, that that being said, yeah, I have 
seen um, quite a few of the, well, at least for me, the newer, the PlayStation games, um, the like the Red Dead Redemption, mm -hmm. um, the uh, what is the open s the open world one where you yeah. steal steal cars? Um, ah, GTA. Yes, yeah. yes, the Grand Theft Auto. I saw those, and um, a friend actually, they went out of town and they loaned me their PlayStation. Hmm. And I have to say, I was fascinated by those. You know, not not only the graphics, but the storytelling. It was it was interesting. It it creates the same sensation that perhaps reading does for myself, where I use reading as an escape. Mm -hmm. And I do it alone. I don't like to share it. Um, you know, I I don't believe I could play video games with another person sitting next to me. Um, well, if one, I'm too competitive, and I would always want to win, but I need that private time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's something I think that that video games can provide, and certainly if there's a good story, that it, it could delve even deeper into that, that catharsis for people. Yeah, um, that uh, Red Dead Redemption, you mentioned that I I will agree with you there. It's amazing, amazing story. Uh, but uh, well, I I went through a couple of your interviews. Uh, there's not a lot of them there out there. Um, well, I when I first started doing this, I actually had most people. I would always have people do interviews for me. Mm. But um, I've started doing them again. So, and it's kind of funny that you don't have the video o video on. So this might not be me. <laughs> well, uh, people that's will not, hear you. That's that's not true. It is me. Uh, well, I kind I kind of know. But no. keep 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 them bad jokes up. Tell good. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, do that. But that's not a joke. I would actually. I truly would have other people would do my interviews for me, and and then I just stopped doing them as well. But I've started doing them again. So, and what's the reason that you started doing them again? Uh, because of the new album, or well, yeah, certainly that's part of it. The, the books have gotten a lot of attention mm -hmm. as as well. So that's um, so that's brought on some requests uh, but there's also the other side to it I, I you know I want to take care of my people how I can and my contribution to the bands is is through my words um, yeah you're so not alone though right no. uh, I can't wait can you say that again I'm sorry uh, you you're you're not uh, uh, alone in this endeavor you have uh, uh, other people to take care oh. of so. right um, so I want to you know I want to do my best to take care of them and avoiding people's requests is it, it's not the best business plan well maybe short term because you you, you build up the uh, some sort of uh, I don't I'm not sure if that's a uh, right word enigma around you uh, when you go away from everybody so the inter interest tend to grow for a bit so for short-term planning it, it might be even good good thing to do <laughs> there's also not that much interest so I should have taken a longer break I suppose <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Uh, 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 I'm still happy that you said yes to to me, so uh, I'm not gonna no, encourage you to do otherwise. No. Um, but it is, it it is actually it's flattering that people are even interested. So, you know, and you you want to think about other people as well. Uh, you know, you you're working, you're doing your job, and you want to be respectful of that and realize that 
you know, you're trying to, to make it the best you can. Mm -hmm. So if I can help in that, I'm more than happy to. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I have uh, about seven questions here. And uh, I will go, we, we kind of, let's go uh, through the... Uh, I have one question just about uh, that involves uh, music uh, genre or genre. Genre. Am I? That's correct. Yeah. Um, I I read that uh, you you kind of don't uh, call yourself. Uh, you 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 don't specify a genre you uh, for your work. Uh, that it's not that important for you. Uh, the main purpose for you is telling a story for vast or tiny it would be mm. is that correct that you you just sound as you sound and uh, let let other others decide how you sound well th and just that last phrase you use uh, sums it all up that's not my job to describe myself and mm -hmm. It's really unbecoming of someone to do. I, I would think at least I would feel odd. I feel odd enough speaking about myself, but um, that's that's not my job. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps if I were a journalist, then mm -hmm. um, I, I would I would need to rethink that. But no, uh, you just I just you just put put your head down and work, and w what comes out comes out. Hopefully, it's good and people can put it in whatever bin works best for them mm -hmm. yeah 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 uh almost not everyone but a lot of people majority of people do need some uh, cate categorization in whatever they choose uh so yeah right and i i, I certainly understand that I, under I understand there's a sales and business and mm -hmm. for me personally on a, a per on a personal level though I've always found when I've discovered books on my own without reading without someone telling me you need to read this you know same with music when I've discovered music musicians on my own it's that much more enjoyable and it's I feel it's it's my own secret and yeah I don't tell I don't share it with people it's, it's similar to how I would play video games you know I do it alone and that's sort of a respite from the world mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you know I, I hope there's a few people out there that just perhaps stumble on what we do and and keep it to themselves and have something special in their lives I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, well, y you say that, uh, yeah, you you find uh, uh, your music just by yourself. Uh, I I guess that uh, you like uh, music uh, that tells stories as well. Uh, uh, do you think, uh, do we have enough of those? Or the world is starting to go bonkers with, uh, or, we d or, or it doesn't matter? Well, um, there was a lot, there was a, a few questions in there, so I'll, I'll do my best ah. to answer them all. My apologies, um, sir. I don't, I don't know. I loved music at one time. I loved being a fan of music um, I've grown out of that uh, doing it for a living it um, I need to step away from it and I don't participate as a fan very often mm -hmm. which is not a good trait I wish I could fall back in love with music as I once did but you know if I were to do that I don't know if I could make music anymore though if I were to do that Mm -hmm. Are there enough story songs? I I have no idea. I I I, 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 I that's actually the same answer. I don't particularly listen to music anymore. 
which is terrible. Um, sometimes I, I will hear something, uh, a commercial or something that'll catch my ear, and I have no idea who it is. And mm-hmm. I'll, I'll want to know. So I hope one day I'll, I'll fall back in love with music and, um. and see see what happens. But I hope there's no nobody doing story songs out there. I don't want any competition because <laughs> I want to win. Yeah. With a big, big basket of goods. Uh, <laughs> um. So, that, you, you know, I, I kind of take back. I hope people realize I'm not real serious about that. Oh, um, you know, this podcast is is pretty. Uh, uh, that kind of thing. As well, so well. So good. there's always someone out there who needs to well uh, take offense to something. So of course, of course, and uh, with no force, uh, forced use of that word, but fucking. Um, uh, so you don't listen particular to music. You you said uh, you just said, uh, and you work on yours. I kind of, well, I am totally lesser caliber of an artist, uh, but uh, when I started to work on my game, imagine I will compare now. Uh, I actually also kind of, mm, now I need that long word. Uh, Salamander. Nah. Not random. Wrong oh. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I. Hmm. Well, I kind of said to myself, uh, do not play any more story-driven games now for a while. Don't spoil your stuff with with other people's stuff, like because you will get some random idea that you actually don't need just stick with yours for now and make something maybe it's kind of like this with you as well certainly yeah um that happens a lot when i'm uh, really writing when i'm working on a book and in Mm -hmm. the middle of it um i won't uh, delve deep into novels or something maybe i'll just read part of a short story for the day or something. Um, yeah, just it's it helps to step away and mentally just just be in your own world and it it sounds mm-hmm. really self involved and self important. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Well, I suppose being a musician is that's sort of a prerequisite, <laughs> anyways. But, um. But yeah, it, it certainly sounds like those. It's very similar in effects that we both uh, we both came across. Uh, yes, I would tell it to my wife um, about world building. Uh, well, writing, uh, whatever that be, uh, uh, writing, writing, or writing uh, uh, lyrics. Uh, mm, that world you are building. Uh, how loose or uh, tight it uh, should be uh, for example uh, David Lynch allegedly uh, sometimes thinks up things right on the spot bec- just because uh, they they would induce an emotion uh, or, or, an, or some sort of emotion that would work or that uh, black metal dude Fenris uh, once said that uh, they even in- incorporated several nonsensical words into the lyrics just to make them sound better with the music. Uh, so yeah, all my blah blah blah. Uh, how... Mm, how uh, like uh, complete and logical words should be to uh, in order to work and uh, in your mind like mm. right I, th- I think I understand what you're trying mm-hmm. to ask um, is th- there's no set pattern and I've learned that um, 
I, w I went to school. I don't really actually talk about my education, so let's take that back. Um, th there, there's no set pattern for one person, and that's a. Uh, I w sometimes I I wonder, or I used to wonder. I actually don't particularly think about it anymore. But people who read how to write books, how to play music books. Mm -hmm. It, it, that's just not a world that I'm interested in. I'm, I guess I'm too busy doing the reading and writing and <laughs> perhaps writing those books for those people. So as far as finding um, how much backlog you need, it, it just depends how you work. Um, s there's been one book I recently did I had such an in-depth outline that um, it was certainly I felt I had been finished with that book for two years before I actually finished it mm -hmm. um, and there's been other times where I've written where it's where it is more free form and you come and you you play off an idea and move on from there and that creates another idea um, but it, it, as far as my background, though, I, I do do a little more research. I have a pl in, an outline that you know, describes my plot for me, so I, I usually know where I'm going. Um, but there are those moments. I, I I believe you said David Lynch. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's there's certainly some some spontaneous moments that arise and and can make the project better, be it a film or a story or music. And I understand what that band was saying as well. Um, I actually never speak to other bands about songwriting, but um, that's interesting. Uh, I've certainly done the same thing, and it makes sense. It's not rock and roll is such an open genre that you don't need to worry about um, scholars criticizing your your mm -hmm. meter oh, yeah. y you can change words around and make them work and well I yeah. think that's it you it's just such a different uh, such a different bar there's yeah. no you don't need to worry about scholars um, yeah you, you worry about what you, you do so. Um, another one uh, from your internet, uh, inter from your interview some time ago. Uh, I think I understood you correctly. Um, do you still think that uh, a need for inspiration is just laziness? I, I'm quite quoting you on this one. That sounds like something I would say. Uh, did, does it say I said that exactly? I'm curious. Kinda. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember saying. No, people exactly change. You might. Uh, you might uh, change your 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 view on the uh, this well, thing. So. <laughs> no, my v um, honestly, my view. Has, I it, laziness. I, I I don't. That doesn't really sound like s how I would say it. But um, you said uh, it's just it's just lazy. Oh. I am ready to send you a link on this one. <laughs> right. Well, perhaps it was the. Um, I'll blame someone else. Perhaps it was him misquoting me. Yeah. Or I'm you were I, young. I, I no, but it's uh, ten years ago, by the way. It, hmm. But I, I actually somewhat feel that way. I, I don't need to be. But that's for myself. I'm not going to apply that to other people. Uh -huh. I don't need to be inspired I don't care what other people do you don't need to be inspired no I f no you just you can just sit down and do the stuff uh, any time of day or well no mm. any maybe maybe you have like uh, some small rituals 
I know, I, I have. I, I need a morning cigarette and coffee, for example. Um, I th well, I think going back to how I was raised, mm. uh, I, I suppose we do have morning rituals, but I, I work every day. Uh, and I do it for a certain amount of time or until I meet my quota for the day. Okay. That's all. So perhaps that is my ritual. But I do that with everything, with exercising and with work around the house. It's just work. You you put your head down and you do it. Right. Uh. Sounds like you're like a, 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 a are you a pedantic person? <laughs> I would hope not, but yeah, I, I think I would be accused of that. All right, uh, gazillion years ago, uh, you played hockey. Yes. Uh, it's a competitive sport. Uh, uh, the did this and what comes with training and all s sports comes with does does this obviously now you probably answered my question about your routine but uh, maybe some uh, something else that uh, comes uh, from the sport life into uh, writing and music probably not much in your case well uh, no it, it no, you can t you can take something positive from everything. Uh huh. Sure. Usually, so if you look at a lot of winning athletes, why are they winners? Well, because they they work hard. Certainly, they have skills that they were born with. You know, they they're mm. they would they were they just have those some of their attributes. But you also have to work. Um, so so. Perhaps I took that from hockey. I'm not certain. I think I took that more from just being ingrained with work from being a young child, going to Montessori and going up through um, different levels of education. Uh, do you still watch hockey? It's a, I presume it's ice hockey. It is ice hockey. Because, yeah, in, uh, in U.S., uh, outlets uh, there's never like uh, concrete uh, do you still watch ice uh, ice hockey you, do you like like it I do, I do watch ice hockey yes yeah <laughs> um, I kind of I when I was young uh, I was working as a sports journalist and I, I for two and a half years I wrote only about ice hockey so oh our meeting will end in 10 minutes. Why? I, I just saw that pop up as well. Because it's a free account. Uh, but uh, I have two more questions. Uh, okay. You are coming to Europe. Uh, do you like it, the old world? Uh, I guess uh, it, in one side you it might be too far or ir irrelevant over there, over that big pond. Do you like here uh, and things from here? Oh, cer certainly. Um, you know, I've, I've actually been asked variations of that question before, and I, I guess I'll twist oh. it around. And someone, someone will always say, "Where's your favorite place to play?" Well, I d for myself, I don't have a favorite place to play. It, it's we can relate it back to my previous answer. You can find something positive in every place. Um, so there's and there's wonderful things there, and it's nice, and we've always been treated so well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're we're. Um, uh, something about history or uh, I don't know vibes uh, of it, uh, like I don't know medieval times and or something like that. There's. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's, I guess that's the obvious answer. And yes, it is. There's beautiful places over there that are not 
here in the States or Canada. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, which is great. It's, it's, which is a great level if people want to operate on just physical beauty. You guys got it yeah. in spades. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you are from Canada originally. Uh, are you? I'm from Lupercalia. Do you go there or those ties are off? To Canada? Yeah. Oh, we st- I, yeah, we still go to Canada. Okay. Well, um, all right. Um, I really hope to see you live this year in Krakow. If th- things uh, sort out, I hope you, you will let me take a picture of you because I'm an ex photographer. Uh, so, probably the easiest question as the last one What are the most important things in life? Da da da. Well, that's, that's not an easy question at all. Yeah, that, that was my bad joke. Yeah. Um. I don't I don't feel in any way up to answering that question I, I I'm meaning I from my life I don't I don't feel as if I would be helping anyone with what I would say oh, okay fair enough I can't force you uh, to say anything so Okay. Um, yeah, while we are not cut off uh, again, man, thank you so much uh, for the this interview, and uh, I really hope to right. see you. Uh, in well, I'm I'm kind of curious. What what do other people? So I assume you ask others that same question. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last one. Yes. No. Oh, okay. No. I just don't feel... I think it would be irresponsible for me, and I, I would feel as if I were giving advice to someone w- without even being... without it having figured anything out for myself yet. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's the most important thing, is that if someone ever does figure out what perhaps might be the most important thing, they need to let someone know. Hopefully, myself first. And here it is. I hope you liked it. Uh, Somehow survived it. uh, uh, Thanks to... Despite my... Mumbling and... Take care and r- reach out. Uh, seriously, I will love to hear from you. Over and out. <laughs>